We're back and we're going to the new gym. We've got some hot wash ones pre workout. Nice, fast, quick digesting food before the gym. Need some quick carbs. A half open can of Monster. That'll do. Okay then, so like I said, we are at David Lloyd. We're actually signed up to the nursery in David Lloyd, which is the one in Southampton, a bit further away from me. And I know you, I said that I need a gym that's gonna be close to me. Well, the gift of this, so a lad that I used to teach, now consider a friend, a guy called Miles, he is working here and he, when you sign up to a David Lloyd or when you are work at David Lloyd, you get a thing called a buddy membership where you get a free member. Miles has kindly enough put me on this, so now I'm officially his buddy, out of the town one, because that's where he works, but you have um, use of all facilities. So we're currently using this one and the West End one, just mixing it, but it's also really, really nice to get in and train with Miles, because similar weight, similar sort of strength, um, and it's good to be training with another personal trainer to like motivate each other, so that is what we're gonna go in and do today. We're gonna go in and train legs, but just look at this hideous weather. Not ideal. Um, Right, so actually, fun fact, the video that I said like most expensive gym day ever, or something like that, I'll put a picture on screen, which was gonna have banged loads of views, is this gym. When I bought a day pass, it was like 25 pounds or something. So yeah, right, let's go in, let's get it done. We've made it into the gym. We've got Miles there warming up. We've got our bright, vibey Alphalete tea. Uh, this is six, actually like functional training area. Cardio all around. And then cardio there, and then we'll take you to the weights in a minute. Lower back's feeling it a little bit today. We're on a leg day. Uh, it's nice, we hit, me and Miles hit legs last week and had a really good session. So hopefully round two again today is gonna be decent. We need to make sure I warm up the back. We have bought the gun, so that should be all good. But I don't know, as you can tell, the lighting in here is a bit ropey, so we're gonna try and fix that. We might even go a bit of black and white. Right, leg day. He's keen as anything, let's get into it. By the way, this leg day get up. We've got the matching colors. What are you saying? It's a beast, like me. Miles is also looking after me, providing the ghost. This is legit. One of my favourite flavours. I know Ghost is off, sort of like a hype brand, but in taste of, in terms of actual pre and getting a hype, this is one of my favourites. Starting with squats. Miles has chosen the rack with no mirrors or something. He got done like looking at his ugly self, but. What's the one main rule of leg day? Never wear a bloody vest for a leg day. Absolute criminal behaviour, lad. Never wear a vest for leg day. Final warm up, beltless, shoes not done up. 100 kilos, then we get into business. Right guys, just jumping on a voiceover for this set of 120 kilos. The uh, reason why I don't want to jump on a voiceover is because if you're watching my form here, you can see that I hit parallel on every rep, which is great. But if you're watching properly, you'll see that my knees are caving in at the bottom of the rep. That's something you really want to avoid. We want to try and keep our knees out and drive them from our heels uh, and the outside of our feet to keep those knees out throughout the whole rep. So that's something I need to work on. And maybe this 120 was a little bit too heavy for me. So maybe this week I'll drop down. So maybe just a couple back of sets of 110 try and make sure that form is perfect. Um, so that's just something to look out for when you're doing your squats. I uh, hope you're enjoying the video up to this point. If you are, make sure you give this video a thumbs up.
That was an absolute lethal session, a leg iron bit. Uh, but once again, we're getting back into a good routine with training and nutrition. Uh, since joining David Lloyd, my training has been so much better, and also training with Miles, Pete, and the boys has just helped so much. So uh, we hit 110 for two sets of six, 120 for two sets of six on squats. So those numbers are already jumping back up. I think it's just having motivation and just someone there to push me. So yeah, training's going really, really well. Back on it, but oh my God, the leg doms are gonna be real. Christmas bacon, back in the swing of things. Look at these. So we did Biscoff twists, chocolate twists, they're basically gone. Biscoff, Nutella and mince pies. Decent. Also, let's uh, hand you up here. Just got this bad boy in the post. Uh, Jim Shop, well, GS My Mission, okay? So I'm guessing this is for people that did a Gymshark order on Black Friday. Um, but basically, it's a three week logbook, uh, just a round of 2019, and it says let's start a 2020 in the same way. Um, what a cool marketing idea, or not no marketing, but sick little idea. Obviously, this didn't come with the Gymshark package, so I do presume it's for that. But they always run a campaign, Gymshark 66, which is like 66 days to create a habit in the new year. Um, so always following along with that. But yeah, this is a really cool logbook and then every other side there's a coil or something like that. Which is a sick idea. Appreciate that. Right, we've been actually editing the video up until that point. Leg day was fun. Training has been wicked this week. Uh, I hit a all-time PR on shoulder press as well. Seat dumbbell press 38 for three sets of six of Adley on the weekend. Training's good, but we're having to rest today. Beth is also off work, so we need to go to a Christmas food shop. The bulk has been struggling. Even though the gym has been unreal, I've been tr struggling to get the calories. I mean, Christmas is obviously a hard time anyway to get your calories in, especially getting them in well. This has been the saviour. Miles also introduced me to this. Chocolate milk from Lidl. This whole carton has 46 grams of protein in it, so I've been killing one of these a day. Uh, but I've been eating a lot of pastries and a lot of Christmas food already. So I, I, you just got to try your best over Christmas. Make sure your training's on point and then obviously with your nutrition. If you can start the day well, I generally think you carry it on. If you start the day bad, struggle is real. Crimbo shop. In full swing. We went ham, didn't we? We did. Cheese. This is the most important section. Bombay. JD Fire, lovely. And this, Lidl's Bailey, £3.50. Lovely stuff. And that, I feel really well. Yeah, Amaretto's always good. And this is a Christmas classic. Let's round off this video here. It's drag on a little bit. By the way, this is that new Alfleet top. Well, one of the two. Very, very comfortable. The only thing about Alfleet is I don't think they've quite got, got their neck size right. It's a bit loose around the neck. But, Tight around the arms, nice colour as well. Okay, so let's just carry on with that point that I talked to you about over the Christmas week. Obviously Christmas is next week. Just try and make sure you can stay on top of your training. Obviously, it's hard to stay on top of nutrition with Christmas parties, Christmas dues, going out with friends and family. You should be enjoying that part, especially if you're in a bulking phase. Like you say, you can sort of get away with it. Uh, I'm gonna really enjoy myself over these weeks as I know that 20, as of 2020, everything's gonna get a little bit more serious in prep for next year's show. So, um, what I would say is, if you know that you're not going to be able to train as much, maybe jump down to a upper lower, upper lower split, just still getting everything in twice, but only through four sessions rather than five or six. Start your mornings as best you can in terms of food. So make sure your first meal of the day is always a decent meal. I think if you start on a bad note, like I said yesterday, you just 
in a downward spiral. And then most of all, just enjoy yourself. Christmas period doesn't last too long, so enjoy it. And then obviously, like you say, in 2020, you can get back to it. Right, enough of me rambling. Have a great Christmas if I don't see you before. I might try and film one more vlog beforehand, but if not, have a good one. I'll see you in a bit.